Eco Training presents Birds of the Bush for twitchers and amateur birders. Each episode will teach you about a different bird found in the African bush. Hi folks and welcome to another episode of Birds of the Bush. As you might have guessed with the background behind me right now, today we're looking at an aquatic bird and specifically the Hamakop is what we are going to be looking at today. Now the Hamakop, for those of you who have never seen one before, it's quite an odd looking bird. It's got this sort of a hammerhead shaped head, which is where it gets its name Hamakop from. And now these birds are most often found in pairs. We often see them walking around the edges of dams and water holes, and they've got this amazing uh, feeding method that they use. And as they walk along the shadows, they sort of shuffle their feet along back and forth, back and forth, disturbing the mud and sediment and trying to get any little uh, aquatic creatures of, you know, like frogs or small crustaceans, anything like that to sort of come up to the surface where they can grab them with ease and uh, swallow them like that. Now the Hamakop, while it's related to the Shubal and the Pelican, it's actually a very, very unique bird and is completely found within its own genus. It is the only member uh, of this family. Now when it comes to building a nest, once again, they are very much a monogamous species of birds. They do this as a pair and they are well known for building these gigantic nests. Usually what they do is they go and find a, a massive tree, maybe like one you see behind me over here, uh, on the edges of a river bank or a, or a lake or something like that, close to water usually. And as a pair, they start bringing nesting materials back and forth, back and forth to the nest. And this is usually small twigs, grass, you know, anything like that really. And slowly over time, they start building this nest up in this sort of V shape and usually in the fork of a tree. And it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And this usually takes anywhere from four to six weeks uh, for the pair to actually complete this nest. And by the time they are done, these nests have been known to weigh anything up to 50 kilograms in weight, which is quite a you know heavy nest for a, for a bird of their size. And uh, once they've built it, they've got a nice roof over the top and they make a little entrance coming up from underneath, which is a great way to uh, hopefully deter and stop predators from getting inside the nest. And uh, they'll actually even bring mud and line the inside of the nest with mud. Uh, to make it waterproof and weatherproof uh, and that's where they'll actually raise their chicks uh, at, at the end of the day. Also what's quite interesting, they sort of have this uh, a habit that sort of we often know, uh, know crows for doing, uh, picking up shiny random objects inside their nests over the years. People have found all sorts of little trinkets and coins and bits of clothing material, all sorts of interesting things that have obviously caught the bird's eye and they've taken back uh, inside their nest. So if you ever lose your change uh, and there's a hummercorp nest nearby, might be worthwhile going inside uh, to have a look. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe below and check out Eco Training's channel for more great content.